So here we are, after 12 months and 15,000 miles, the time has come to say goodbye to our sport brake, and we'll be sad to see it go. This has proved to be one of the most popular cars we've ever had on the Watt car fleet. All my colleagues have been clambering to borrow the keys from me, whether for short trips to the tip or long holidays. So everybody loves swanning around in this 40,000 pound Jag, but why has it proved so popular? Well, we all like the XF Saloon, but the sport brake is more practical. It's a great motorway cruiser, and it looks great too. In our 12 months with the car, nothing's gone wrong, nothing's broken. We had to take the car back to the dealers only once to have the front Xenon headlights readjusted. Uh, some colleagues have complained that the driver's seat makes a squeak on its lower setting, but other than that, absolutely perfect. But here's the thing. From time to time, I began to suspect it's not very good. For starters, this big Jag has a small and rather old 2.2 liter engine in it. It's got enormous turbo lag low down, a fairly limited power band, and it's fairly gruff too. It doesn't waft like a Jaguar should. Also, this eight speed transmission is really hesitant. The visibility's poor, the seats lack lumbar support, and the infotainment's touchscreen is the worst I've ever come across. It's so slow. First of all, we struggled to get over 35 miles per gallon out of this car. Our overall average was 32.7, which is way below our true MPG figure of 40.8. And of course, there's an elephant in the room with the sport brake in the form of BMW's 520D Touring, which is not only cheaper to buy and to run, but better to drive. The Audi A6 Avant is quite fruity as well, and the Mercedes E-Class is as big as Berlin. So, it's game over for the sport brake then. Well, no. You see, the Jag still has a few aces up its sleeve. You see, it has an excellent chassis. The ride's firm around town, but really comfortable at higher speeds. The handling's great. Softer than the saloon, maybe, but still great. The steering's lovely, too. It's precise, responsive, and well-weighted. Twisty roads were always a delight in this car. Holidays were great in this car, too. There's plenty of room for family and friends. And that's another thing. You see, your family and friends will want to go in this car because it's a Jag, because it's not some boring, bland SUV or German estate car. It's stylish and desirable. You see, this car might not have the technology or depth of engineering of some of its rivals, but it has a charm and a curb appeal that they can't match. So, this or the BMW? Well, now, that's a tricky one because the BMW does make more sense. But this Jag, this Jag's an old friend. It's been immensely popular in the office. It's not perfect, but it has been fun. I, for one, will be really sad to see it go. For all of my weekly updates on the sport brake, go to whatcar.com.